What up, what up? What is going on, guys? Your boy, Jess. Welcome back to another MLB. MLB. Another MLB road to the show. Uh, we're doing something a little different. Uh, we're doing a post-commentary, actually, just showing you guys. We are still on Hall of Fame experience. Um, I did a couple of games. As you guys see, I played the POR series, but I was going to upload those videos, but unfortunately... My computer, I was going to do the same style here. I was going to put three games into one video. And um, my computer, once I finished with the Elgato, my computer, as it was rendering, said, oh, we're going to update. We're forcing a restart. So I lost all that footage, which sucks. But here it is, man. Our first game, he pitches and we check swing. I thought I checked swing right there. But we end well, he just gave me that. Yeah. Just all. Oh, just just put your hand out. Just put the, Why you got to put all that motion into it? But the very next pitch. We swing! It is back! It could go! It's bu 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 gone! Our third dinger of the year. Now, I'm doing this style of commentary. I would like to know what do you guys think. Because somebody left a comment on my last MLB. And he said, Jets is only doing these because there's no editing involved. And I'm like, well, no. Because those videos actually take longer it's so easy to chop these up. All I'm doing is showing my bats, and Lord knows I'm DH, so I don't even got to show nothing on the field. But uh, these are very quick to edit. I'm just showing you my bats. You know, they're very quick. And um, I was like, you know what? I didn't even give you guys an opportunity to really see which one you guys like better. Maybe this is what you guys would prefer. Maybe three games in one video instead of one, you know, um, live commentary. I don't know. Let me know. Right there, we strike out. I noticed since I'm on Hall of Fame, the pitching is very difficult. They will paint the black. They will hit the corners. You know, their strikes are very tough to tell. You know, um, previously on the previous difficulty on All-Star, you know, kind of like veteran where you can see the balls a mile away. Here's tough to tell. Like, it starts in the strike zone and whoo, curve right out of the strike zone. I'm swinging, looking like an idiot. You know what I mean? So... Uh, it's very, it's difficult. They pitch way smarter here and you know, they will, they will hit the corners. They will throw sliders that end out of the strike zone that look like it's going straight down the middle. And it's, it's, it's very difficult. So the three games that I played before this, I struggled. I had two games with no hits and I just haven't been playing very well. And this game continues struggling on, uh, what is it? Hall of Fame. Cause next level is legend. So we're one and four, but we did hit a dinger. You know, that one hit did lead to a home run. But unfortunately for us, we lost. There is my uh, performance at the end of the game right there. You see home run, strikeout, uh, and then two consecutive outs, back-to-back -back innings. So uh, first game, not not so good. Not bueno whatsoever. So we go on to our next game, and it got us batting eighth all the way at the bottom of the lineup. And that's definitely frustrating. And we're still DH. And you see, the last five games, all five of those games have been on Hall of Fame. 3 for 17. And I did notice that most of the best pitches are the first pitch of the at bat. And you guys know I'm against going up against the first pitch, but the first pitch is so well. Most of the time, it's like I end up swinging. <laughs> right there, we thought that we uh, was out, you know, but thankfully it just snuck underneath the glove. And that right there is, is definitely some some, um, you know, motivation for us to try and, you know, get things together. So, you know, we don't steal right away. You know, we take a look at his count. You know, we want to try and, and jump a pitch. You know, um, right here, we're waiting for it. Let's see if we go back. And we're gone. And we end up swiping the bag. And one thing that I noticed as well that they did not do on veteran or all-star, they will attempt to pick you off with no lead. Like right here, I did not press R1. Not once. And they pick off. I've got picked off a couple times not paying attention. I'll go to scratch an elbow, not even paying attention, and I'll get picked off, and I ha and I didn't even take a lead. You know what I mean? So uh, that's something that you definitely want to pay attention to. Always hold back if you're not attempting to steal, you because they will pick you off, and you literally didn't even take a lead, and that caught me off guard. I wasn't expecting that. So unfortunately, we're unable to turn that single into a run, and uh, we're just trying to get any type of points we could on the board. Because we were struggling so badly scoring points, I decided to take it upon myself to do a sacrifice button right there. Move him on over to second. Hopefully that right there could transition into a run because we're struggling badly. I'm struggling. 
And, you know, I just thought maybe that would help the team. And um, it did. So one to one at this point, um, top of the six. Bases are loaded. I decided, I believe I hacked at the first pitch. And that right there brings not one, not three, but two home. And that right there is a double RBI single. Got to love that. You got to love when you're able to go on ahead and be put in those positions with bases loaded and be able to, you know, find a seam and be able to bring those runs home. So that right there was definitely big. And unfortunately, I'm unable to score to be able to give myself some more points. But nonetheless, we did have a two RBI single, which is always good. And um, right now, we're still up three to two. Guy on first base, one out. If there was zero outs, I would have, again, I would have taken upon myself to do a sacrifice bomb because I'm struggling. I'm struggling out here very, very badly. Um, right there is a pass ball. Well, it didn't technically get past them, but it's in front of them, and it bounces up and uh, allows the runner to go to second. Runner in scoring position. I hit it right up the field, but the second baseman snags it, throws me out, and we're unable to make anything happen. And unfortunately, that right there... Um, was a, a tough situation because next time I come up to bat, we're losing with two outs. Me and I first, this is potentially the last that bat of the game, and that's exactly what it is. I decided to hack at the first pitch, and they throw it right because the, the first pitch is generally right down the middle, and it's tough to take those pitches. There is my outcome right there. We end up having ourselves a, uh, I believe, two for four game, uh, even though it kind of shows two for five, but at the end, it, uh, it showed that we was two for four. So right here, we are still batting eighth. There's a look at my career stats in the double-A league, playing for the Rubber Ducky so far. And it's it's the stats are only going down <laughs> because it's very difficult to hit. So um, we've lost like 30 points on our average. But, you know, we, we want to win. You know, I want to win. We're down two, um, two games in this series. Hopefully, maybe we could steal this third game, get ourselves some momentum going into the next series. Runners on the corners, two outs. 1-0 pitch right here, and we're just looking for anything decent. And we swing. The pitch is right over the middle, and it looks like it hit the gap. It goes to the one. I'm going to try to go for third base, and I fail. I try to go for triple, which is usually not a good thing to do when you're on the third base side, which that was. Usually you go for triple if the ball is hit to the gap around the second base side over there towards the right. But unfortunately, I went ahead and uh, gambled, and uh, it didn't work out. So, First pitch swinging right out of the gate. We end up hitting it right past the third baseman who took an awkward uh, backhand position to try and catch that. 3-1, uh, and one, we're up 5, so there's absolutely no need to try and, you know, do anything risky as, you know, to try and steal. We're up 5. So uh, right now we're just going to let it play out. Hopefully we can just go on ahead and uh, get a hit. And that's exactly what happens. Not only does he get a hit as we look at the third baseman, we end up scoring on the dinger. And that was... Fernando, who has been on fire lately. Fernando has been on fire. He's been batting like 330 or something like that in his last six games or something. He's been absolutely dominating. Uh, or maybe that wasn't Fernando because Fernando usually bats fifth. It is Fernando. It is Fernando, damn it. Um, he's been on fire, you know, so um, good job for him, you know, hitting that home run. Right now we're two for two with a double and a single. And, you know, hopefully we can just go ahead and continue. A little hot streak we got this game. We're up 7-0. So we're not really worried about, you know, losing this game at this point. Always take the first pitch. At least I always try to. I always try to take the first pitch. Look how close that ball was, man. That is something that they do a lot. Now, don't get me wrong as we get ourselves another single. There are balls that are thrown that are way out of the strike zone, immediately thrown out of the pitcher's hand. You know it's a strike. But majority of the time, I want to say 70%, 7 out of 10 times, you get a ball that looks like a strike. And if you don't swing, it's a ball, but it's so close. And, you know, they, they try to paint the black, and it, it's tough to tell. You know, it's really tough to tell if you got yourself uh, a ball or a strike or whatnot. So um, it's, it's not easy. Uh, right there, we do end up scoring. So that right there gives us extra points. And right now, we are 3 Four three. I have yet to have. I don't think I've had a four hit game yet this year. Um, so this right here will be my first opportunity. And we're only at the top of the six. You know, a lot of runs being scored right there. First pitch high in the strike zone. We end up taking that 94 miles now. Right now we're on an 0-2 count after a foul pitch. So here we go. 0-2 count and we hack. And this time we go to the triple side 
over there on the right side, and we end up going to third, easily getting ourselves a stand-up uh, triple as we hit that to left field, and we end up getting ourselves a nice uh, gapper, getting ourselves a stand-up triple. Up 13-0, to very next bat, we're unable to score ourselves a run, but nonetheless, the damage is already done. So now we have an opportunity for a career-high five hits game. This is obviously something I've never done. This is the first time I've ever got a four-hit game. First pitch, we go swinging again. I think I swung first pitch two out of the five at-bats. I went for two. I, I don't know why. I don't. I don't know why. I, 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 I really don't. I can't even explain that. We got gunned out. But nonetheless, man, it was a base hit. We finished the game five for five on um, Hall of Fame. And I will say hitting itself is a lot tougher because the pitching is more difficult. But your um, hitting zone is a lot smaller. And it's tougher to connect, you know. So um, that right there was a tremendous game. That's a hell of a way to finish the series. There's our lineup. Double, single, single, triple, single. As you see, we got uh, back to back to back at, ba at bats in the fourth, fifth, and sixth innings, which is usually you don't see that, you know, getting at bat, at bat you know, in consecutive innings like that. So uh, I noticed we got 445 points. I was like, damn. Maybe it's because it's on a difficult level that we're at that you receive more points. We're playing on a tougher difficulty. I don't know. But half a thought wild points. I'm like, damn, where should I put it? A lot of people are telling me I'm not playing defense because I'm because my fielding isn't good. So I was thinking about power contact. Like, you know what? Let me let me be smart. Let me put it on fielding because me being on the field, that's easy points. You know, being getting those easy ground outs or double plays, those are easy points. And I really wanted to put it to power or contact. I was like, you know what? Let me spend points to in return get easy points. So that's the end of the video, guys. Let me guys let me know what you guys think of the format. See your boy GS. I'm out. Peace.